once. <laughs> I want to say happy holidays to you, to your family, and to everybody out there in Madland. I like how you said that. Before I do go on, though, happy holidays to you, your family, and Thank everyone you. out there in Madland as well. And hope that they're safe and they're happy and successful holidays for all. But as you said, happy for once. Usually you're kind of a, kind of a Grinch this time of year. What's going on? Yeah, well, my heart grew three sizes this winter. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Got to get you some new clothes to accommodate <laughs> that big chest. But enjoy the holidays, everyone. Eat, be merry, enjoy your family time. as he's taken down in the backfield. It's a loss of two, now third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, good pick. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. And he's able to hook up with Michael Gallup. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And that one results in 35 yards. So the defense blitzed. A nice job picking that up, completing the pass. And how in sync was the quarterback in his center on that play? They saw the blitz, made the appropriate calls, got the line engaged because now they know there are going to be extra guys coming at the quarterback. So they got their assignments down pat and kept them away from him. And he's able to step up in the pocket and fire one now for a really good strike. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead grows to 10-0. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This is fielded at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. Call it a pickup of seven, and it'll make it second down. Again, this is Michelle. And unable to get downhill there as he'll take this up to about the 37. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a third down. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading the play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They do go for it. It's Brady. That's to his running back complete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. And now here come the Cowboys. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. 
When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Now Elliott. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 26 seconds to go until halftime. Give to Elliott, running left. And he'll wind up losing yardage here back at the 21-yard line. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they stop it with 19 seconds to go in half number one. Kind of a fine line when you're setting up the screen. You don't want to throw it too early and have the defense react too quickly. And you definitely don't want to throw it too late. And that way it's not formed perfectly. Got to make sure you hit it just right. On third down, it's Elliott. And he'll at least get him inside the red zone here, down to about the 19. Now a timeout coming here defensively. As on fourth down, may as well make him punt it. So they won't get a touchdown, but here's a chance to at least get three to end the first half. From the left hash, it's a 36-yard attempt. And did it get there? Yes! Boy, he didn't get much of that at all. He tucked it just between the crossbar and the left upright. And that'll push the lead up to 13 to nothing. So a bit of an exhale there. That one, it didn't have a whole lot behind it. it just looked kind of strange, but it did go through. A little bit of a surprise, don't you think, from that distance? Yeah. Because that seems almost like a chip shot with the way the kickers are nowadays. Did he hit the laces? You know, did he kind of chilly dip it a little? Did his foot hit the ground first? I don't know what it was, but he managed to sneak it through. <laughs> I don't know what chilly dip is, but he chilly dipped it. G golf term, but we'll talk later. Likely time for one final snap as they start out first and 10. The final shot before half for Brady. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. The final shot before break. Brady, oh, it's a screen pass, that's complete. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. All right, Coach. Thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. The Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing, Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky. Felt like a sense of urgency from their side, coupled with, you and I both know the special teams coordinators, they sell their key plays each and every week to the head coach, don't they? And I guarantee he's been selling this one. We can get it, coach, we can get it. And that came together with that sense of urgency you talked about. Second half begins with a run by Smith. A gain of three, second down. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Now Prescott. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Oh, that's got to frustrate him a little bit because they nearly got to him there, and it would have been the first sack of the game instead. They're able to influence the release, and they did force the incomplete pass. On third down, it's Prescott. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And a shot taken on third down unsuccessful. 
Fourth down now. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. So look at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. This was the old NFL record distance for decades. A 63-yard attempt. And this one will not get there. It's off to the left anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Everything looked good. Good snap. Good hold. Sometimes, though, the ball just doesn't want to go where you want it. And this one winds up no good. Well, now they'll start three yards shy of midfield after that long 57-yard miss. Brady finding a safety valve here. That's complete. And he'll get it down here to the 43. Four yards on the pickup, and it'll be a second down. I'm guessing, partner, that if we're in the huddle with the Patriots right now, there's not a single guy that thinks they have any chance of coming back in this one, especially not with Tom Brady. Though. Yeah, who's Tom Brady? What's he done in the past as far as comebacks are concerned? They're down right now, but that can evaporate quickly with him in the huddle. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. Throwing now is Brady. Now they go screen. It's complete. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And a nice little quick spin move before he's dropped. And a pretty good gain. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware. Ball may come your way. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Patriot first down. To throw is Brady. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. We always talk about having to read defenses and how complicated that is. Well, this was an excellent read. Read the pressure and got rid of the football before it even got to him for a nice game. And when they're blitzing like that, running back usually a good spot to go to the football? Without a doubt, because he's right in your sight line or he's near you. So you're able to just get it to him easily. And once he gets in space, that's usually a good matchup for him. The throw on second down by Brady is incomplete. This Cowboy defense trying to hold him out of the end zone. They've run it to third and goal. Here's Brady to throw. This will be caught at about the six. And he'll get blown up behind the line of scrimmage. Back at the six. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that's going to make it fourth down. So now on fourth down, on comes Steven Goskowski to try and get the patch three. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And Goskowski's kick is good. And they will indeed get on the board here, but still trailing. It's now 13 to three. Well, maybe a little bit of an anxious moment there as that ball got closer and closer, but it does curl in. Yeah, actually did a little bit of a slow dance there with the left upright, didn't it? But had just enough space, as you said, for it to curl in. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And the last go around for them, they tried that really, really long field goal, couldn't connect. And in retrospect, I think a lot of people would say, well, why would you try one that long? You hurt yourself in field position. The ball comes out, you know, there. And that only helps the other team. But I look at it as maybe it's a double shot of confidence. Confident the kicker could make it. And even if he missed, confident in their defense that they could hold him. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A big run there. 29 yards and a first. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And a nice move will yield nothing as he's stopped behind the line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Let's go, let's finish now. Here we go, here we go. On second down, here's Smith. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. 
Four yards on the pickup there as they get it back to a more manageable third and seven. They're trying to show that they can run the ball and protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Give them a couple on the run as it brings up the fourth down. And this one is right down the middle. And the lead stretches 16-3 now. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point no. kicker. Exactly. <laughs> you put it through the post. That's going to help him the contract time. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. And it's picked up by the Cowboys. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard yard line so the defense there opportunistic it's nice to give them credit isn't it because so many times it's more a matter of what the offensive guy didn't do didn't secure the ball didn't cover up in this case let's just give credit to where it belongs knocked it free and made a big play they'll start the drive with Elliott and that play is blown up losing yardage back at the 35 that's gonna go as a loss of four and it'll be second down they go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. It'll be a gain of 11, and it'll be third down. It seemed like the situation was second and a mile to go for a first down, which screams what? Throw the football. You got to pass in order to try to pick up that kind of yardage. But in this case, they ran a tendency breaker because the tendency is for defenses to be out there and be set up for a pass. So you break tendency and actually run the football. That changes everything because if you're able to find a crease, you often have bigger guys working against smaller guys downfield. They picked up excellent yardage there to bring up a third down. On third down, that's Elliott. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Two yards on the pick up there. It's fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. It's a keeper with Prescott. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. They only got a couple, but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth. here back at the 47 a loss of a full three yards and now it's second down Brandon it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter they're gonna have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball made it very difficult right there now they need to repeat that effort yeah bring seven eight nine whatever it's gonna take to slow him down now he's gonna get this all the way down inside the 35 first target first catch and a first down Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect him to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. A 20th carry here for Elliott. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. A second down throw for Prescott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. 
Michael Gallup, 31 yards. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead. They were still throwing with a comfortable lead here late, and now that lead even more comfortable. And your first thought is, is there bad blood that went into this one ahead of time that maybe they're seeking some revenge or they just don't like them? But the other thing that always hits me is, are they worried about playoff positioning, right? Are they worried about, do you need enough points in case there's a tiebreaker that comes into play later? The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Now the Patriots offense, they work their way back out onto the field. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Randy Gregory in there to make the sack. He buries him for a loss of 10. Play action. Now it's Brady. Wide open. Gronkowski. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. That one goes for 24 yards. Time for a break. We'll come back and see this one out after this. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to let it fly. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Cheetah Bay Arousie with a pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. A handoff left, Elliott. Spins past him. And they're able to get this one across the 35. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Do my eyes deceive me, or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Room to run past midfield. Power running by Zeke. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys will extend their lead.